So you want to start a tomato farm. Well, step one, you got to go to the store, buy some tomato seeds. Step two, put them in the ground. Step three, water them. Step four, put some fertilizer on there. Step five, wait for them to grow and blossom into the little tomatoes are going to be. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. Kai. Today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this cool little animation. I've been wanting to make this for a while, actually. It's like a little thing where the circle in the middle flips around like a little button, I guess, and there's a little, you know, thing around the outside. It's hard to explain. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we get this thing started. Uh, first thing I want to do is, it's a nice little motion graphic, by the way. Um, and the first thing I want to do is go ahead and drag a box over top of um, everything except for our camera. So the cube and the lamp. Goodbye, default cube. I love you. Hit delete on the keyboard, and then you go ahead and select our camera. Hit Alt-G to clear the location, and hit Alt-R to clear the rotation um, and as you can see oh, well that's also works because I have a hot key for something else so we'll just uh, make sure that we do this a different way we'll go ahead and just uh, reset the rotation like this instead that works exactly the same way um, now let's go ahead and hit RX and then on your numpad on the right hand side of your keyboard hit 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis hit enter to confirm that and then hit G y and move the camera backwards like that now hit zero on the numpad to go into the camera's view now we're all set up to ready and ready to go let's go ahead and hit shift a and we'll search for a circle now this circle is going to uh, have a couple things added to it we're gonna hit add circle add circle right here make sure this fill type is set um on in gun and not nothing make sure the vertices is set to 64 just so it's a little bit um smoother and now we can hit rx 90 and then hit enter and you can see that we have now a circle which looks really good um now the next thing i want to do is hit shift a and we'll search for a plane once again hit rx 90 to rotate it on the uh x axis 90 degrees hit enter to confirm that and now what i want to do is i want to go ahead and split this up so what we're going to do is let's hit tab to go into edit mode we're going to right click this hit subdivide and then we're going to literally delete every single other vertice other than the two in the middle. So um, the one in the actual center right here and then the one right above it is the only ones we're going to leave. Hit uh, delete vertices. And now you can see we have this these two vertices. I'm going to go ahead and hit G, Z with this bottom one selected, the one in the center. Uh, hit G, Z and move it straight on up until it just has a little bit of a... A little bit of a line like that, a small little tiny line like that that goes all the way across. Hit tab to go out of edit mode. Now you can see we have that little tiny line up there, and that's literally all that it is. It's just two vertices creating a line. Now, with that done, hit this little uh, modifier tab button right here, the little wrench. Um, and we're going to go ahead and hit, and hit add modifier. We're going to change this to the... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I cannot see. I, I'm actually blind. I, 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 can't, I can't see. Oh, um, screw. There we go. <laughs> we're going to change it to screw. Excuse me, guys. Ooh. We're going to change it to the screw modifier. I'm going to go ahead and add some iterations um, here. We're going to add maybe 10 iterations. We'll leave it like that for now. Um, we're going to also change the angle. So what we need to do here is you can see when we change the angle, it adds or takes away some of the things that we have already. Um, we can change the screw value so it does like this, but we don't want any of that right now. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have everything set up by going ahead and um, we can also change the steps. Change, let's change the steps first. Actually, let's change the six, steps to like 64 um, for the render and for the viewport. And while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and select the circle and add a uh, subdivision surface modifier. So it's a little tiny bit smoother than what it was. Had a little bit of edges on there, just make sure it's uh, out of there. We can also do the same thing with the, um, with the other line, the other circle, the outer circle. We can make sure that subdivision subdivision is on underneath the screw modifier, by the way. Um, so there we go. You can see we have this looking all nice and good. The issue is, is that we need to go ahead and oh, if we change this to something like, maybe like, uh, we'll start it off on zero. So if we start it off on zero, let's go to the, our, our animation timeline down here. Change my start frame to zero and go to the zero frame. If we go to the main tab and switch this this tab right here, the scene tab, the output properties tab, change the frame rate to 60 so it looks nice and smooth and silky, like butter. Let's go ahead and go to the mod, uh, modifiers tab once again. We can change this angle to zero. Hit hover your cursor over top of the angle button and hit I. You can see it, it turns yellow right there like like butter. Not, not, not the BTS song, but like, you know, the food. Um, let's go ahead and go to maybe frame 50, maybe we'll see, maybe frame... 
uh, maybe frame 20 actually and then we'll change this angle way up to like maybe 250 or something like that actually that's way too high we'll change this up to maybe let's let's see what do we got here yeah i only need a little bit of, to go around like this so we'll do like maybe this yeah 27 um, and then we will go ahead and go to maybe frame 70 and then put it all the way across, which is going to be um, 36 looks like maybe 30. Yeah, 36. Okay, cool. Uh, there we go. Nice of your cursor over top of that eye. And I can see when we play this, it does that, which just looks really, really good and really, really cool. Now, with that being done, I want to also reverse it so that it looks like it goes away now as well. So we'll wait uh, about this many seconds until it gets to maybe frame 60, 160 actually. Um, now what we need to do is, we can do this two different ways, but the way I'm gonna do it is a super, super simple and easy way instead of having to do it any other way. I'm just gonna flip it um, and then we'll just do the same exact animation. So um, let's go ahead and grab all these by dragging a box over top of all of them like this, just clicking and dragging. Hit Shift D to duplicate them and then move them to frame 160. Now we're gonna have to reverse them. So instead of like clicking and dragging and moving all of them, we can just hit S to scale them and then just move our cursor backwards so that it just scales like this instead. Um, and then we can just go ahead and do like this and then just move them uh, back to where we want them, which is gonna be about right there most likely. So now that that's done, I'm gonna maybe move these just manually so that they're similar to the account before. So there was one black line in between these two. There was one, two, three, four black lines in between this. So one, two, three, four. And then it goes right here on 180. There we go. And now you can see uh, it reverses itself. But I don't want it to just reverse the same exact thing that it just did. I want it to flip. So um, right before it plays, I'm going to hit uh, I location. Oh, sorry, not location. My fault. I uh, hit I rotation. And then a second keyframe I rotation. So we should have two keyframes of rotation right next to each other. So these two right here, right next to each other, but they're not doing anything because we didn't change the rotation at all. So on the second keyframe, on the second one, hit R Z 180. Just type 180 on your numpad. Left click to confirm that, and then hit I rotation. Now you can see when we play this, um, it will be flipped around. So it will actually go the other direction like that, and it'll go away, which looks looks really cool so that is basically our animation for that piece um, but now what we need to do is we need to do the animation for the center circle so the way we're gonna do that is I believe we're just gonna flip it like diagonally a little bit so um, when the circle comes out maybe approximately maybe frame five we will go ahead and kind of make the button tap itself so it's hard to explain. You'll, you'll see, you'll see, you see. So let's go ahead and insert a rotation keyframe on frame five. And then on frame maybe 10, so five, five frames later, we'll hit uh, double tap R and then just kind of rotate the button backwards like that a little bit. Hit uh, rotation. And then I think, do I want to make it flip fully? I might actually. Let's go ahead and um, make it fully flip like this. So we'll go ahead and go around hit I rotation on frame 50 and then maybe on maybe frame 100 we will go ahead and pull it all the way back around and we'll use this to make it um, kind of lined up uh, a little a little bit more straight let's if we put it back on zero it's gonna be like that let's actually go ahead and put this on 90 and hit I it's gonna do this weird flip flipping thing now um, but we can fix that in a second so um, let's, let's get rid of that last frame we just made and instead of doing that what we need to do is we need to make sure that it is as straight as is possible. So let's go from the side view. This is the side view. Let's go from the side view and kind of just flip this around so that it's completely straight like this, just using RX and RY to rotate on the X axis and the, in the Y axis. Um, you can see that's pretty straight. If I do say so myself, there's this really weird like stopping thing right there though. And I don't like that at all. So what we need to do is we need to kind of smooth this out a little bit. Yeah, just a little weird thing right there. Um, there we go. If we get rid of the keyframe in the middle, it kind of just goes smooth. And then by the time it gets there, we can just grab this original keyframe on frame five and then just put it right after frame 100 so that it looks like it is exactly the same thing. You cannot tell that it moved basically at all. So there you go. Now it's in the same spot that it was when it started. Nice. And then we can do the same exact animation again. Um, 
maybe one more time before the animation closes out. So. Maybe? Something like that? That's good. I like that. Very cool. Very, very cool. It's, it reminds me like a like a planet logo or some kind of like a loading thing or something. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it looks really cool. I hope you enjoyed uh, animating this because this is I love simple animations like this. We're going to create a, a simple material real quick, just of a mission. So I'm going to change the world background to solid black. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go to the material tab here. Change from principal BSDF to emission. And then we're going to go ahead and turn the strength up to maybe five and then add it to the second, the inner circle as well. I'm actually going to make this smaller by hitting tab and then hitting S and making just scaling it down a little bit and hitting tab. Once again, to go back out of edit mode, I just wanted to be a little bit smaller than it was because it was looking kind of large in, in the in the other circle. And I really kind of wanted it to just be more um, not large. <laughs> so that is probably it for today's tutorial. We could also rotate the um, outer circle as well. <gasps> wait a minute hold the phone all right we're gonna do that real quick i actually kind of like that so instead of adding keyframes on top of the keyframes we already have currently um that would actually mess up the the ones we have for the rotation of this and for the flipping that we did right here um for the outer circle so instead of doing that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this animation on an empty and we'll parent the empty to the outer circle makes it a lot easier and you don't have to worry about messing up the previous animation that we already that we already have on the um object itself so if that didn't make sense, you'll see what I'm talking about right now. Hit Shift A and search for an empty and go to plane axis. Now you can see it added this little plus in the center here. Um, hit S to scale that up a little bit just so you can see a little bit more. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, click the outer circle then click the hold down shift and click the empty and then hit control P to uh, set parent to object. Now you can see when we grab the empty and then hit G, it moves the um, it moves the outer circle along with it, which is exactly what we need. And with that done, we'll go ahead and grab the empty and we can start animating this once again. Like I was saying before, let's go ahead and grab the first uh, the first frame, which is a zero frame, obviously. Hit I, rotation, and then go to maybe like frame, I don't want it to be the exact same as this animation here, so let's go to frame like 10, and then we can double tap R, uh, and just rotate it a little bit, something like that. So it's back there. Hit I, rotation. And then on frame maybe 70, hit uh, 3 on the numpad to go to the side view. Hit RX to rotate like this. Um, hit RY to rotate like that. RZ to rotate it like this. So just, I'm just trying to get it as straight as is possible once again, just so it looks straight to the eye. Hit I rotation, and then we can go ahead and grab the first keyframe, which is on zero. Hit Shift D to duplicate it, and then pull it over to frame 71, which is the frame right after 70. Obviously, um, you you know that, you know, um, as long as you went to uh, a preschool. But yeah, so we add, we add that to frame 71, and you can you can't even really see that it uh, it moves at all, which is good. So it looks like it's just completely fine, um, and it's perfectly straight once again. Now we play this, you can see that it does something very strange because we have this uh, this second keyframe here. So let's play this once again. Oh, that looks actually kind of cool. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Um, if we go ahead and move, I believe it's that keyframe that's doing it. The second one. Oh, there we go. There, okay, so if we could delete the second keyframe that we have, which is the keyframe on the fifth frame, I think it was, on five. You can see that it will now uh, do what I wanted to do, which is flip around like that, which just looks really, really cool. And then we let it play again. And then it goes back. That is very, very cool. Um, I might actually delay this animation until it happens halfway through. That is very cool. Um, there you go. That is our, uh, I guess I'm going to call this like a planet loading icon, I suppose. It looks very, very cool. I might actually make the, it's this little, little, little button that was right there, which was uh, a number, I believe, three. A little three button and then we'll change the color of the inner circle to an actual color so that it looks a little bit more standy outy that's actually a professional term didn't know if you guys knew that um, i'm going to turn bloom on as well just to see what it looks like that looks really bright <laughs> i just like the flat graphics better i believe for this 
Um, but yeah, so that is basically it. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I'm also going to go ahead and make sure that I have color management set to standard instead of filmic. So it's actually white and it's actually the color um, that we set it to instead of it being an off color. But yeah, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. This was a very, very cool and very fun, simple motion graphic icon. It looks really, really cool. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.